Can you hear me? <laughs> Can everyone hear me? <laughs> here we are. It's no, no, no. The YouTube has behaved itself. It's all happening. Everyone is here. Is everyone there? They do the old, uh, lovely, very good. Um. Hello. Are you all there? Mm. Good. I've got my earphones in, which means I can kind of half hear things, which is always a bit weird. Um, I'm currently in the map. I'm looking at the map. A few things have changed since last time. Um, I've just appeared mid-sentence. Hello. Hello, everyone. So, uh, this is the map. This is the map of what we've been up to. Um, and so you can see over here... Uh, a few things have changed since the last time. We've, we've got the kind of the, the kind of the Great Western Railway here. The, the network's expanded a bit. Um, there's a new branch line to Leighton that's just opened. Uh, there's the the Metropolitan Railway here, sort of um, expanding a bit. There's a bit of a new there's a new railway that connects Kingston and Bradshaw. There's a little branch line to Bodmin in there. So little railways popping up here and there. There's also the um, lowest often and um, Rally Railway up here that's sort of. Um, become a thing that we didn't really look at last episode at all, in fact. Oh, the music's too loud. Gotcha. I shall fix that now. Uh, wait a minute. Everyone's very upset about the music. Give me a sec. How's that? Is that better? Is that fixed? Everyone's absolutely desperately upset about the music. Can you hear now? Is that better? <laughs> Uh, OBS has reset some of the volume for some some of the different volumes for, for something. Uh, vanished or, or sort of still there or uh, what are you thinking? Uh, what do you think? Wait a minute. If I go to here and put it up to oh, there's a number that I had which was which worked quite nicely. Uh, there we go. Let's put it to that. How? No, that's still too loud. Uh, let's go. For, there we go. How's that? Is that is the volume better? Everyone give me your confirmation of volume, because otherwise you're going to get deafened by steam trains uh, shortly. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, you can see all... I've, I've, I've coloured the different boat companies. So there's some shipping lines that kind of run as well around the coast. Um, most importantly, we had our, our new mainline railway that we were in the process of constructing. So, we were going... We'd built in from Shanklin up to Paynton, and we'd, we'd kind of... Uh, shall we say hijacked some of the existing railways between Bury and Rugeley. But now we need to go to, we need to connect Mag Hall up onto the, onto the system. So the first thing we're going to do is finish this bit of mainline. And then maybe we'll go down and have a look at Bradshaw and see some of the railways down there and what's going on. Um, and maybe expand some of the branch lines around. Maybe uh, uh, connect up uh, Shanklin, Harrogate, Nottingham. I'm trying to see what other kind of larger population. So the, the different um, symbols on here represent different population sizes when I started the map to give me an idea of which are kind of the, the towns of importance, if you like. So there are a few places that still haven't got a connection, so might be worth thinking about joining some of them into the into the fold. Anyway, it's all very dramatic. So let's um, thanks thanks feed for keeping me on the straight and narrow. Let's uh, let's go into TF2, shall we? Uh, which involves me doing some magical button pressing. Uh, firstly, to press, mm, uh, let's press this button here. And then go into here. Uh, but also I need to very quickly get the chat up and then go back in here. And everything should be marvellous. <laughs> we're, we're there. So I, I've kind of got the map up at the moment next to me, which is good. Um, cool. Welcome. Welcome to the feed, everyone. Uh, oh, yeah. So I built this little branch line in here that's, that's kind of connects up down to Leighton here. Leighton's a bit of a... It's, it's, it's expanding quite quickly because for some bizarre reason it's got... A, hefty brick supply uh well not some bizarre reasons because i set up a brick industry there's sort of a a brick the brick manufacturers down here they make bricks mm. and um and they're shipping stuff uh pretty relentlessly across the water here um over to uh, oops over to Leighton, and then that's kind of getting shipped up elsewhere so yeah that seems to be going all right anyway 
let's have so let's go back to the the Great Central. So if you remember, we'd built our um, our station, a pretty hefty station here, Shanklin Central, um, in in our expanding city of Shanklin, which is um, kind of growing towards the coast. I think this will grow quite large, you know. Uh, oh, there's a nice uh, nice little train running through here. Very nice. Um, so so that's expanding uh, already. You can see uh, some some city growing up next to it. So last time we were on the, on the stream, it was 1857. I've, I've uh, run forwards a bit to 1858 now um, for various reasons. And so some, some town things have appeared. There you are. You can see there's our great central main line charging forwards. Um, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. Uh, you, you can't drive trains in... Um, TPF, but you can uh, you can um, get into the wheel. See, this is a tunnel, but it kind of looks like it would be broken out as a. It's kind of you'd definitely just break that out, wouldn't you? I mean, that's actually what I'm going to do. I think this would be. Uh, there we go. Let's do break that out because I reckon there's no chance that wouldn't just be uh, yeah an earthwork. You'd do a big earthwork, you wouldn't do a tunnel in that situation. It'd be cheaper to just break the land out rather than building it as a as a tunnel. There we go. So nice. It's a pretty deep earthwork, don't get me wrong, but uh be right. So let's go along this way. So as ever in these, when I kind of stream these things, we had some special guests last time joining us in the feed, which is good fun. Um anyway, with these I try and talk through what's going through my head. Partly because maybe there are useful things to learn from a technological and a railway perspective, but also perhaps because it allows those of you who are just in it for the gaming to uh, to, to make slightly more realistic looking um, layouts. Uh, yeah. So there we go. So there's some, there's, there's uh, what's this? This is Paint and Central, which is, this is the design of station we're going to go for for these sort of dedicated Great Central Railway stations. I quite like it. You've got two fast, fast uh, tracks going through that, and then you've got this sort of platform loop either side. So that's quite nice. And so what we need to do is, well, continue this, basically. Uh, so there's, there's where it ends. This is where construction got so far. We are all special in our own special way. It's very true. All of your special guests, uh, particularly if you have spanners, Ella. Um, right. Uh, so that's that. So we've got to get through this thin spittle of land and then kind of connect up to this place here, Mag Hall. Now, bearing in mind that we are then connecting up to our station up here. This is where we're running through. This is Paint and Central Station. You can see it's again, it's got these two fast lines that will run through. We need to somehow squeeze these. Oh, crikey, the city has expanded already. Uh, so we're gonna have to kibosh some city, but it'd be great. Um, so essentially, we have to see where are we gonna get to if we do a straight line here? Well, this is, this is what it's all about, isn't it? It's working out what's gonna go where. So if I straight line this, well, you can see immediately I'm gonna hit the uh, going to hit this factory, well, this, this this timber place, which is going to cause headaches. So we're going to need to skirt around, so we're going to go through here and we need to skirt around um, around the wood, which means probably cutting through in a bit of a straight line this way, which could work. So is that perhaps what we want to do? We want to sort of skirt through. The challenge with that is that then we will be demolishing an existing bit of railway. Well, that's okay, actually, because this one, I think, is just a, it's just a farm feed, I think. Yeah, it is. It is. It's just a, a farm feeder, so we can sort of divert that uh, either underneath or over the top. That shouldn't be an issue. I'm not too worried about that. That'll be fine. So, and the thing I want to do is I kind of, the thing, when stations always look best, when they're on, um, when you've kind of, when they're on a straight, when the alignment either side doesn't just kink, you know, when you kink into the station and kink back out of the station, it's not hugely realistic. Generally, you design the station around what the overall track alignment's doing, so you kind of want to look at the bigger picture. Um, challenge mode being that bigger picture trying to skirt around this lot. So, <clears throat> looking at this, so we kind of, we can do a straight line, basically do a straight line through like this, so... Is that something I want to sort of kick off now? So if I did that, if I have a straight line running... Ah, the other challenge we've got is here you can see we've got we've got more railway. What is this railway going to? Again, it's this um, it's this sort of existing railway line that we're going to need to come over the top of. Now, because this, is a, this, this railway line's already here, so the new railway, basically they're going to... They are going to do literally that. They're going to come in over the top. That means I need to do some earthworks. Um, and the way that that works best in TPF2 is to actually start your bridge first. The trouble is, 
bridges. The trouble is with a bridge, you've got only got a little bit of track like this. So, um, oops, uh, one, two, three, four. You've got a little bit of track like that, and getting the angle right on a little bridge like that to then continue onwards in the direction you want it to in the distance is a bit of a pain, to be honest. So, um, yeah, this this might be a bit of a fiddly. But this is why I left it to last because it's fiddly. And uh, some of you might be like, oh, I could have just done it off stream and then said, look what I did, hooray. But now, nah, it's the fun in that. You guys get to watch me, um, you all get to watch me stress. Uh, stations on curves and change the gauge to 1432. Bjarn, Bjarn you, you watch your mouth. Right, so we're going to delete that and delete that because it's going to get in the way. Um, we're going to have to delete these properties. They're gone. Sauce, kids. Um... Let's see. What key? Wait, what? Uh, what, what, what? What's the chat on about? What are you on about? What, what, key, what do you mean by what key? Right, here we are. So this is going to go... Um, it's going to be straight for now. Ah. No, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to the, the fact there's a weird kink happening. We'll, um, we'll resolve that presently. What's this down here? Oh, it's the level crossing thing. Um, okay, so yeah, you know what? We need to um, we need to bulldoze this as well. They're not going to be happy because it's a it's a main road bit of road that we've just demolished. So I've just disconnected the town from it. From it's it's fine. They'll get over it. Um, so I've now elevated this, and I kind of that's quite low. I don't know if I want to disappear into a tunnel. Well, the thing is, it does look quite... Nah. We're going to go up a notch here and then just sort of rise to this height because I think we're going to want to stay above everything. That'll help us with getting over those railways. So if, if, I, if I continue this along here, um, it's not an unreasonable climb. I think maybe I'll want to maybe drop a little bit. There we are. Uh, I'm gonna let's just have a think is that gonna be uh, I kind of don't want to go that far I'm gonna accept that but then I'm gonna demolish a bit of it because I think from this point I'm actually gonna want to curve around a little in any case that's gonna be our um, uh, that's sort of the that's gonna be our station approach so that's kind of where we're joining in from one side so that's where we can bear, bear in mind and while I'm here let's let's get this bridge over the top as well for now uh, yeah. There we go. What's this? That looks alright. Very nice. Uh, uh, let's just. Yeah, my best I'll do. And let's curve that round. Oh, maybe I don't need to curve it around. Let's do this to. No. No. Go away. Uh, yes. Marvellous. That'll do. And likewise, again, this way, we're going to... Smashing. There's, our, there's our, a bridge going over the top, and... Uh, space for everything else to fit around. Glorious. If building things on screen is watching Gareth stress, would anything built off-screen therefore be pre-stressed? Very, very good question, John. Yeah, that's a question for the ages. Um, let's see, so... This is fiddly, because I need to get the right height. I need to come around here. My design software, this is the sort of design query that would be quite tricky, because I'd need to be getting the right... So let's just get an idea of what radius we're talking about here. So let's get this right. Um, it doesn't need to be that shallow, actually, so I could have gone a bit further. It's okay. I'm going to do... Uh, yeah, I don't want... There we go. Let's do that. Now, 120 is the minute is the radius. Yeah, see, that's just about okay. The thing is, that's now too sh far in that direction. That's shooting me off in that direction. I kind of want it to be a straight line. So I, this is yeah, this is why. This is why we need to be a bit shallower and a bit cleverer because I think it needs to line up with going in this direction. What I might do actually is build the um, is get the rough alignment, the rough idea of alignment that I need to go through here. Um, let's see. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, lovely. No. It's going to be a very tall viaduct. Don't worry about that. Uh, yes. And a bit more. No, that'll do. Lovely. Just This is just more for me to see what sort of straight line I need to be doing. So that cuts through here and here and here. Lovely. So my two constraints are, this is me, this is my engineering head. This is a bit like proper alignment design. So I've got, uh, you know, I always have to bear in mind the various constraints I've got. So I've got a constraint there and a constraint there. And that's sort of, uh, I mean, interestingly, this is about the height I kind of want to be, you know. It's not far off, actually, the height this needs to be going at. So I've, what is the height? What's the elevation of the... It's a bit high on this side, isn't it, really? So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I kind of need to maybe maybe um, build it from the other, other side. So the other thing I need to do is do that. Oh, see, I say that. Let's do that, and then... What the thing is, this is then way too high for being through the station, so it, it, it's not not ideal at that point. So I'm going to build this. Not worry about the capex because I need to do the design of the alignment anyway. So um, you know, stuff money. So that's going to go that way. Uh, the station's going to be there. I'll need to build sort of a some sort of system to connect this because this will be slightly on the fringe, but that's not a problem. I don't mind that too much. Um, and then that will cut across. challenge mode is then managing to get this to go to connect this is going to be a bit weavy to get through this bit but that's fine that's fine and then we'll come through there um yes i have been shift clicking good uh, thanks thanks rgi colliver for the for the suggestion there but i have indeed been clicking i'm going to uh, accept that uh, obviously that's not what the actual thing's going to look like um but it allows me to do a bit of um getting the alignment at the right angle so this this height's a bit much for example but it allows me to do, 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 um, get various things to the height I want them for starters, whilst having sort of a. It'd be nice if you could do basically. It'd be quite good if if if, if the game did construction lines, because like the lockable straight construction lines that you could snap the um, your tracks onto, because that would be somewhat more realistic than the the current arrangement. Now is that that's sodding that up because of the proximity to the ah now which yeah okay the thing is this also isn't quite hmm it's fine we're good we're good we're getting there this is this is the, this is the feed you wanted everyone so I'm gonna do this along here this is gonna go along here and it's gonna rise up to. Um, it's going to rise up to get to the height it needs to be to get over the railway. So that's going to be about this height, actually. Maybe a little bit more. Yes, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, that's exactly what I want. So that's getting accepted. That's going to be perfect. There we go. Let's get rid of this. That's sort of roughly my alarm I wanted, but this is nice. Uh, let's just sync this up on the other side as well, just to make sure it's... So you'll... Yeah, right, so... Oh, and the other fiddly bit is then making this so that... Oh, yeah, obviously that's not happening. So, need to connect this with... So if I do this now, there we go. The problem with this is I've gone, I've now gone, that's a bit, there we are, so we need this to be a bit lower, actually come in a bit lower to meet this, lovely. There we are, how's that looking vertically? Uh, yeah, that's a bit more like it, maybe, maybe a notch or two more. Oof. It's a fiddly old thing, this, you know, the old alignment design. I mean, you'd expect it to be, since this is what I literally get paid to do, you'd hope that it'd be vaguely challenging, right? Um, now the tricky bit is going to be getting these to be matched up uh, in terms of radius. I don't want a compound curve. Even if this is going to be 120 right the way through, I don't really want it to be. Uh, that's a bit short on one side, so let's, let's do a trick. Yep, lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. I 
think that will do it, you know. It's probably not perfect, but I'm willing to stake. There we are. So we've, 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 we've managed to get over to the first of the railway crossings. Getting there eventually. Now. Uh, I can kind of get rid of this stuff because it's along the alignment I need to be, so that's good. And we'll kind of make the alignment work if it isn't quite perfect. What are you saying in the chat? Do you think there should be a Transport Fever Engineers edition? Uh, yeah, mod builders make it happen. Uh, so, let's see how this looks. Uh, very much want that to be on the old straight level. Uh, how's that looking? It's not quite, not quite straight, you know. Uh, how's that? That looks a bit better. Yeah, that'll do. Actually, we're going to do this because I think... Yeah, there we go. I can sort of... Uh, yeah, perfect. Bit of a longer viaduct, longer approach viaduct, and then we'll go back to... As, as, we've actually managed to get the skew angle all right on that. Nice. Um, so now we need to... Oh God, this is the... This is the tricky bit, is now we've got... We've not quite managed to skirt the... Uh, skirt this thing right however i'm at peace with that because the great central railway has not done enough damage to maghull and in true style of railways of the period we need to do some bashing up uh yeah so and if i can get a straight line going in that direction so actually perhaps i need to build this from this side so there's an annoying farm that's right there that's obviously causing us some headaches. Um, but it's also a farm that's feeding... Uh, it's, in, it's in use by other industries because I kind of don't want to destroy it. Um, so maybe it's time for me to do a bit of freestyle railway construction here. Uh, so if I'm going to go this side... Now, where's that bit of railway that I'm joining up to? So I'm going to have a curve here, straight line, and a curve to here as well. Okay. Um, well, let's just see what that's doing vertically. That's okay. Uh, yeah, lovely. Let's accept that. Bit of destruction. Nice. Um, and let's do another from... Yeah, cool. Nice. Lovely, lovely. Right, there's the straight line. So now we need to go, where are we doing? We're connecting up to the rail over there, so. Uh, let's do just that. 120, nice 120 bit, there we go. 120 kilometers ain't much. It's really weird to have it. I mean, it's I, I, it's weird to work in kilometers an hour um, because it's not, it doesn't come naturally as an instinct to me because I work in, so religiously in um, miles an hour. Even though I type kilometers an hour into my design software, like very much my brain is wired into miles an hour. A bit strange, really. Um, so now we need to just get 120. That's not enough. Okay, let's just... Uh, I don't want this to be too... There we go. Let's start from this side. So, 120, 100... Oh, it's not even enough that side. Crikey. Reminds me how flat a curve 120 is. That, that's a bit too much now. If you're in a vibe, you don't remove fields. Oh, really? That's interesting. Um, 120, 120. I'm willing to go with that. There we go. There we go. How's the uh, sound volume, by the way, for the explosions and destruction? I'm reeking. 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 I'm wreaking havoc. Yeah. 120 on that side, 120 on that side. And it's not quite it's not quite perfect, but I think Yeah, okay, so it's not great, but we're gonna smash a station through here in a straight line. This is this is how it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen this way. Um There we go. Is that the angle we're going to go for? Can I keep it up on an embankment? That's the other question. 
Ooh. Uh, what did I get to this? Okay, right, so let me think. I'm gonna go... Let's just... The only trouble is I've now built this to this height. I kind of need to increase the height a bit, don't I, to get over the... Uh, Let's do that, and then at this point we're going to curve around to 120. Does that and then a bit further? Yeah. Okay, and then 120 curve. Let's see. How's that looking? Sufficiently shallow so as not to be ridiculous for a you know mainline alignment. Uh, also, what have we got curvature-wise? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm at peace with that. Now, challenge mode is again the game wants to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to do that. That's that's. I kind of. That's the other thing is that it wants to then introduce vertical curves in my grid, in my, um... Yeah, just from an alignment point of view, folks, uh, this game is not quite how you would design railways. It's, um, <laughs> it's always a bit of a bodge. Let's see. As you, you kind of probably guessed that, right? Um... Yeah, let's go with... Why have I done that, you might ask? It's because I'm going to build my viaduct here, like this. Uh, actually, I'm going to build it like this. Ugh. One, there we are. One, two, three, four. That's what I want. Although, what I don't want is that. Why has it done that? There we go. Oof, that'll have to do. I think that's. I think that. I think we're there. So now, what, what have we got on the inside of the curve? No, I don't want it that steep. There we are. Oh, I'm actually a bit sharp on that side. Well, that's predictable. Uh, we need a little bit more, um, how can I get that to work? I need it to be a bit further this way, don't I? Yeah. Isn't that much of a game to make it fun, not too realistic? Well, you know, there's some joy in the realism. Um, you know, there's some joy in the realism, or at least I find there to be some. Um, there's a satisfaction in getting it to kind of do what do what it's supposed to do. I, I find I find that's where I kind of find it most pleasing, is, is when you manage to get, get it to do what the, what the real real would do. Uh, there we go. What's that looking like? It's about right. Good. Let's see if that's done the job for us. Thank. It's. It's. I mean, it's not an unreasonable point, Bjorn. You know, I don't want to dismiss your point there, but um, 120. That good. So now I can kibosh this bit, and hopefully, it's going to give me my 120. Let's see. 100. Oh, nearly. 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 Very nearly 120. That I'm at peace with that. That'll do. Now, how's my skew? I haven't. Yeah, that'll do. It's very skewed, but it'll do the job nicely. Now, again, challenge mode is that we're quite high up now. So, what we're going to do about that? Can we? Uh, we don't want to be crazy high up, but equally. Um, Oh, let's go with that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the thing is, I kind of, I quite like the idea of a station a bit high up because it allows the, uh, it'll go over the top of the, over the top of the road. So maybe I don't want this to drop quite as much as it has. Maybe I want to keep it actually up in the air. 
What are your thoughts, folks? Should we have a nice elevated station on here? You know, kind of keep it, keep it up in the air. I'm, I'm thinking that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I'm not sure if it needs to be quite as high as it has been, but uh, let's do. Uh, where are we? Yep, snap. Snap, son. Here we go. And a bit of that. Oh yeah, go gosh, it is going to have to demolish things. Well, it's gone. They've gone. What are your thoughts on that, folks? Just, you know, just kiboshing sections of... Oh, annoyingly, this is going to have to go as well. That's, um, that's kind of mildly frustrating. Let's just delete that like that. And do that. There we go. That gives a bit of breathing space. I presume game doesn't support elevated and banked stations. Well, not really, but what... Not, um, not proper... Well, not like uh, structurally or, or kind of supported on a bridge structure. But it does support them if you do what I'm about to do. Which is... Um, there. there we go. You might be thinking, but how are you going to do the bridge? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, how's this looking? Oh, the trouble is, I don't know. I'm going to have to come in kind of like this. Okay, right, fine. Uh, let's get the station involved in a second. There we go. Where is the station going to be, you might wonder. Um, we're going to have a station access off here. The station's going to be here. Uh, or is it going to be here? Let's go with here, actually. Where's the centre of the city? It's kind of... Uh, yeah, maybe here, maybe this side, maybe this side. Okay, okay. Yep, boom, boom. Uh, we're going to go buildings, and we're going to stick to a two-platform... Uh, we're going to rotate this a little bit so it snaps. There we go. Uh, I don't know, 160. Yes. I think that's how much I've been doing at other places. There we go. And I'm just going to modify this to make sure that it's doing what we want it to, which is to uh, destroy all the station building and all of this stuff because we're going to grow our station a little bit from what the default position is. Goodness. Do do do. Money being no object, yada yada. Three, four, two, three. Do I want to add another? Yeah, go on. Um, now platforms. Let's stick some. It's a good point, actually. How big have I made these other platforms for the other stations? I've done it. I've. Uh, oh yeah, I have given it a decent size. That's. Uh, yeah, that is 160 meters. It's a decent size. That's. Yeah. However, that does mean that I can probably not, I don't need to expand it beyond that, it's a pretty long, uh, no don't do that, do that, yes please, thank you very much, uh, where were we, oh yeah, placing platforms, and I think it would be silly not to have the station building on this side, frankly, uh, and it's going to be a big station building because it's a big station, so it's going to be, uh, going to do this, no, how? What's that going to do? Is it going to create a nice little slope to access? Mm, yeah. Or shall I do... That's going to smash it to bits anyway, so... If I do that... Yeah, let's do that. We've got a, then, then a nice big tall building, another tall building, and um, maybe a little building for good measure. No. <clears throat> This will mean we've got another one of our little um, sort of station, uh, little station road things here. Let's do this. Do we want a narrow one? Yeah, I think maybe we do. Yeah, let's go for a narrow little station road. Uh, yep. Ugh, oh, can't quite. There we go. I'll do. Uh. Does that, doesn't. What do you think? Should I go with the slightly wider one and the narrow one? Yeah, I'm going to go with. No, you're right. I need to do. I, I, I'd be kiboshing myself. I'd be kneecapping myself if I did, went for the narrow one to start with. Let's go with that. And um, see, the challenge is now that I've severed this, I kind of need. Trouble is that road is going to cut through there. That's ah, fine. It's fine. We're going to come to that in a bit. 
In fact, I'll probably cut through on this side with a bit of a viaduct and the, and the road will... Yeah, 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 it'll be right. So that's severed. That's going to go down like this, hopefully. Let's see. Uh, yes, and then... Uh, yes. Good, lovely. And then do a nice... Too much slope. There we go, that'll do. You might, you're going, what the heck is that? Well, you know, it's a uh, fruity usage of um, <laughs> the roads. Uh, the kind of the terrain map. So let's just, let, I'm just going to lift this up because it's, uh, obviously it's a bit, it's a bit steep for a, let's just sort of uh, level this out a bit. Uh, yeah, 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 nice. Let's just get that level out. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Let get it leveled out. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Just sort of diminish the dramaticness of the slopes on either side, make it look a bit more like it's a thing. Um, there we are, station towering above everything else, the railway going through. That's more like it. So now, if I go back to tracks, uh, this is going to go... I'm going to need enough... Tr ah, challenge mode. I'm going to need enough for the station throw on this side. Or am I just going to go with enough viaduct? Hmm. Uh, also, that needs to go up like that. Oh, it's not quite enough. This is going to have to drop. That's okay. Uh, because... Oh. No, not that, not that much. I've, I've gone down to the sea. We're in the sea, everyone. We're in the sea. Ugh. Oh, it's because I've got the strength too high. Right, let's just do that. There we go. Yes. Yeah, good. Oh, um, now what I want to do is get the road and do some road down to down here. And sort of continue that as, as down there like that. Uh, lovely. And then back up again to to meet up with. There we go. Glorious. That should give us enough to get over the top. And grand. Lovely. So that's, that's very nice. Uh, as I said, the challenge is going to be how the station throw looks like that. And what we might have to do is actually extend this as four tracks for a bit longer and then do the do the station throw on the other side. Because I think if I come off the back of this, oh, I don't think we'll have enough to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I, for example, if I just... Let's just kibosh it on this side for now. Just to see what it looks like. If I come in here... Yeah, it's a shame they're not proper elevated stations, I agree. Seven, so if I, what was I doing if I was doing it for... Uh, what's that, 75? It's a bit weird anyway. Uh, uh, and it's colliding because it wants to be a bridge. So it could... So if I do this, actually... Oof, it's not quite... I said this was going to be a fiddly bit, right? I did say... If I was this, oh gosh, no, this level please, yeah, there we go. If I do the same on the other side now, yeah, lovely. I'm just tricking the game basically to, there we are. There we go, demolish that, demolish that. Ah, perfect. So what did I want, let's go for, um, Actually, I don't know how, what speed. What entry? This is the trouble. I've not done it for. I haven't done it since last time. So, what entry speeds have I had for these stations? A hundred. Oh my. Well, there it is. A hundred, hundred kilometers an hour. Uh, let's see how that looks on here. Too much. That's what it looks. It's, it's eighty-seven. Yeah, it's still too much. Uh, I just have to have a shorter station throw on this side then. Such as the um, the engineering constraints, we have to survive that. Uh, we have to have a crossover on the other side as well. Not such an issue on this side, though. We can have a nice hundred hundred kilometers an hour on this side. There we go. There we go. Marvelous. We got there in the end. So this is um, what is this? this is Maghull? Oh, it's not Maghull Branch, or it? It's Maghull Central. 
Uh, and we're not out of the woods yet because, so go over that railway, lovely. Go over that bit of road, lovely. We've now got to connect these two up, uh, which is going to involve me doing a bit of this. Can I get 120 out of it? Oof, if I do that. Okay, okay, that's. Uh, yeah, lovely. Now, if I continue this as a straight line, is this going to. Is it going to work? I spent all this effort getting the, the alignment right on the other side and ended up ignoring it anyway. Ah, well. Um, let's see. So if that comes through there. I don't need this. I can demolish that. Don't even care. Uh, so if I continue that like this. Oof. Yep, yeah, lovely. And. Two. What? Oh. Uh, there we are. It's a bit. That's getting a bit shallow now because of the. What is that? Oof. Three. <sighs> Trouble is, that's also two track railway. So is that going to work on the other side? Let's do this. Ah, that's kind of worked. Um. Dodged over that side. We've dodged over that side. Let's get rid of that and that and that and that. Uh, yeah. Bang, bang. Oh, this is where it gets a bit... Vertically gets a bit interesting. Okay, so if I... Uh, bulldoze that, I think. Uh, and also maybe I oh, forgot. Yeah, I need to keep that like that. So once again, I'm I'm kind of tricking the uh, tricking the game a bit to try and get it to. Oh, come on. There we go. Just to get it to build the kind of the alignment I want. The other thing you notice is that it's um. There we go. Is that going to be the height I want it to be to meet? I think if I drop it by there we are. Yeah. What are you thinking, folks? We're nearly there. Residents must be getting really confused, all these viaducts and banks that finally appear and disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are gonna be going there's gonna be this kind of sense of shock of all this kind of construction that's appearing without any obvious uh, necessity or uh, purpose and more importantly seems to have uh, dispensed with the need for collective or indeed any labour. Um Let's just do that, just so I see where I am for the middle of my curve. So if I'm going to start there, I need to go a little bit further back. Uh, so nearly from like here. Yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So if I do that, that should now be, should now be in the middle. Uh, yeah, it appears to be. Happy days. That suits me very nicely. Which should mean now, if I connect these up, they will not look too crazy vertically. Looks alright to me. Tick. And, we should be excited about this because... We've just connected up the Great Central Main Line. That's it. We've done it. I, one side of the island to the other. Hooray! Um, what's the what's the chat saying? What's what's going on? It's very much based on the modern community, so things such as proper elevated stations are possible, but using mods, yeah, it's true. What sort of service patterns will we end up on this main line? That's a very good question. We're going to set those up shortly. Um, I just need to make sure I've got I've set up the uh, the SNC correctly. So come off the bridge, and we're going to have a uh, kind of an eighty kilometer an hour crossover. Uh, let's put that here. It's quite a long one. Oh, it's a bit too long. Oh, no. Let's let's go for seventy. Yeah, that's a bit more realistic. Uh, and then another one on the other side. Uh, let's just do it immediately off the back of it. 80. Marvellous. Uh, no, wait, what, what way do I do that? And coming off. Yeah, that's fine. Good. 
what else do we need? We kind of want to connect up. Do we want to connect up on this side? Do we want a two, a, a, another station connection on the other side? You know what? I think we do. I think we do for this one. Let's, uh, uh, passenger buildings. Let's do another little station entrance on this side, shall we? And then another one here like this. And then maybe a little, little shanty bit like that. Uh, and then let's just connect it up. Same as we did on the other side. Just to allow people to get in and out on that side of the station. Uh, there we go. I'm just going to level this out as well. Oh God, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. There we go. Uh, what's strength? Oh, maximum strength, please. And let's just do some of that, some of this, and some of this. And get this all. Yeah, lovely. Uh, maybe also connect up to this island of road that I uh, have ignored. Uh, let's do just that. There we go. We can remove that building. Yeah, it's gone. And we can just demolish that. Do a bit of tidying up. So there's obviously some history. You know, when you, I do like building up. The thing that makes maps look good in Transport Fever 2, and, and to be honest with any kind of city builder game, is when you build history into it. Even if it's completely contrived, made up, your own game history is to sort of kind of make up a bit of history think about sort of the context of why, why these buildings are appearing where they are um you know what road where roads used to be don't just demolish roads that are now isolated kind of leave them sometimes leave little road spurs um uh oh i just saw a switch under a bridge or where oh yeah that's that's true yeah let's not worry this is back in the time when they didn't necessarily risk assess that sort of thing out so um, i'm getting away with it we'll come back to all those sorts of risk assessments in the future uh, as as the, as we kind of progress with the the, the game sort of developing and, and more railway appearing, so um, we do have the whole railway now, and I think we have got uh, there is a small so there's Haverhill, lovely. We do have a service running at the moment. There is yeah here it is. So uh, let's just switch that on and just make trains. So there is an existing sort of Bury to Rugeley service running at the moment, and it runs. Let's see, it runs. Uh, from Bury Central to Haverhill Central and basically it's a stopping service which is fine so we're going to go up so this goes up to Rugeley and actually what we want to do now is how many trains are running this service by the way let's just do this how many just the two. Oh yeah because we need to name them as well everyone's gonna um everyone's gonna name them so uh from Rugeley we're gonna continue so let's get rid of that and just say we're gonna click add station so from Rugeley, we go across and we head to Magal Central. And then we're going to keep going along and then we're going to go to Paynton Central. I mean, don't worry about these names being completely geographically illogical. It's like uh, it's a bit like Australia, you know. This is, this is a, a tropical paradise with places named after the imperial uh, warlords who've come and, and basically... Uh, I mean, there is no sign of any indigenous population here. They've been obliterated. So that's about right for the uh, empire of the time. Uh, Shanklin Central. Then we're going to go back. We're going to go back. Paynton Central. Uh, there we are. Keep going back. And to Maghull Central. And then Rugeley Central. Everhill Central. So this is one of two different services we're going to have. And that, that arrives in Bury. Now, I think Rugeley Central this is in the wrong platform. So I just need to correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that obviously needs to be corrected to... Uh, what is that, number nine? Why, why has it decided to go to that platform over there? How very strange. Oh, maybe I clicked. Oh, reachable from previous. What have I done? Let's delete Rugeley Central out because I've stacked it and then it will hopefully then work out the logic when I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then if I go from... What was it? There's, so that's from Haverhill. Then we're going to go to um, Add Station. Go here. Oh, I know why. It's because I've not done the station throw at uh, Rugeley. That's why. So, um, that's fine. Let's let's delete that and come back to it. We haven't finished the station throw, of course. Thanks, everyone, for keeping me right. Not. Uh, 100, 100, 100. That's what we're going to have, wasn't it? 100. Yep, lovely. And back again. Very nice. Now, what side of the connection was this on this side? going over to there so we need to come back from the other side kind of mirror it just allowing a bit of turn back capability uh let's just do a 70 km an hour because it's not a it's, it's not a usual thing for the service there we go so where were we right so from haverhill we're gonna have uh, we're gonna add this station here 
and then back, and then it, what was it? It was from Maghole, so it's Hammer Hill to, no, uh, from Rugeley. Yeah, Maghole, and then back this way. That should work. Nice. So that's our um, GCR Burry to Rugeley, and actually I think we're going to need to have more trains on this one. How many stations have we got? It's not a bad rule of thumb to have as many trains as stations, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten. A stop in service. That sounds... Well, we've got... Oops. Let's start with eight for, for, for now. So that's... What's that? Four. Let's just duplicate that again. Not enough money. <laughs> Bring on socialism. There we go. Uh, duplicate those again. So what we call... So this is... So at the moment, I'm going to unceremoniously call these the, the GCR... Um, uh, stopper. Stopping passenger. There we are. So it's a stopper. Um, but what we're going to call so uh, suggestions for any any other alternative suggestions for what the express is going to be because the express is going to be um, uh, it's going to basically run non-stop. I think. I mean, we could stop at intermediate, but I think it's just going to run non-stop. Um, sometimes it makes sense to have a you know one intermediate because then it picks up some of the locals that come in, so you can have a mixture. So we could have it that we go from Bury. So what are the suggestions? Have I signaled the route yet? No, I haven't actually. That's a very good point. We'll come back to that. We'll signal it once we've got the, the, the service running. Do we want basically... So the map is that Mag Hull is like the major center. There's Mag Hull here. There it is. Um, and is that going to connect? You know, does that provide the connections? But I think... Yeah, there's Paynton as well, which might have some connections, but it's very close. So... Um, my instinct is actually to just do a, a non-stop express service uh, from one end to the other. What do you think? Suggestions? The GC Express, well, it will be the, the, the Great Central Express. We'll, but any, any kind of suggestions as to what that... Um, so, let's go New Line. We're going to go from Bury all the way across. Look at this. It's quite fetching, isn't it? It's a fetching bit of railway. Uh, all the way to Shanklin. And that's it. That's all it needs to do. Uh, let's see. So I've got a nice fetching blue. People are going to go in the GCR wasn't blue. Well, my one is. But we're going to call this. This is the GCR Burry to... And it, also, this one isn't Burry to originally, is, is it? It's Burry to Shanklin Stopper. Uh, and I'm just going to want to do this. Isn't it lovely? And this one, which is uh, the Express. Oh, there we go. So that's uh, them running through there. So if I zoom in on one of the stations, there should be. Ah, now the reason it's doing that is because it ain't signalled yet. So I need, we need to signal it up. We usually could have another... Yeah, exactly. There's some There's some various... So what we can do is we can introduce a, a stop. Depending on which station ends up looking busier, we can introduce a stop on the express. But for now, I think I'm just going to do it end to end. Um, if that sounds uh, sensible enough. So... Um, Cool, we need trains for this one. So what are we going to make our railway... What are we going to have the trains looking like on this one, I think? Well, I'll tell you what, let's... First of all, let's get everything the, the right colour. What we could do is actually have a... Do we want to do we want to double head it? We could double head it. And then how many coaches do we want? Do we want to kind of then go for as many coaches... As we, do you want a big train? We've got 120 metres, that's, that's quite a lot. Let's go for... How big does it end up? Maybe that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's have. And how many do we want? Do we just want two of these running express service running between? I think so. Um. There we go. And for now, we're going to call these the GCR. It's going to be. It's not uh, until people come up with a better name. Uh, it's just going to be called this fairly generically. I don't think we'll need that because it's not stopping many places and it will go pretty fast. I think it, we won't need that many. So we might get with it. We've got two... We're double heading it with the steam basically for acceleration so it can get to full speed quickly. But it might be that that then... I'm hoping to be able to kind of do some of the cascading of trains between different services. We'll see how that goes. Um, so we've got two there. Uh, oh, but we haven't assigned them. So let's assign these to the express service. So there we go. Stop and passenger, and then the express service. Now, signaling. 
tricky bit, right? Uh, uh, no, no, not one way yet, because I think... Let's have a look. Uh, this is all a bit of a... Oh, yeah, this was a bit of a bodge, wasn't it? Let's go with one way for now. I think what I want to do is just check. Yeah, so... Uh, that's the station entry. So, so this bit's all signaled up. Happy days. That's fine. Uh, mostly. Let's uh, let's do a let's do a signal there as well, so we can. There we go. So that's kind of all. Is that signaled up as well? All right, you know what? Stuff it. Let's, how long is that station? It is long enough. I'm gonna do one there as well. There we go. So that's that's fine. That's all signaled. But our new section is not. So uh, people are gonna be shouting at me as I signal this. So I'm basically going off you to shout. The Marmite Zephyr. That's actually not a bad name. I quite like the, the use of the Zephyr name, actually. That could be quite fun. Uh, that's going to go... But the thing is, I don't, I don't really want to do that because... I kind of want this to be... There we go. So I kind of want this to be... This to be the bit that's stopped. Yeah, I don't want anything running onto, onto the... I basically want the priority to be on our, on our main line. Okay, fine. Um, which it will be, so actually I don't need anything but the, I kind of just need the, the our, our kind of um, signal block situation, so that, there's going to be a block there, how long do I want a block, how long kind of, what size do I want my blocks to be, another one here, and then another one, people are going, what are you doing in the chat, right, or is this fine, just basically create my little signal blocks, uh, there's one there, let's do that, Sort of, I mean, they're not they're not perfectly spaced. I'll give you that. Uh, I could probably delete that one, can I? Should do it. Yeah, let's delete this one. Intermediate one. How's that looking? Let's look a bit more spaced out. And another one, sort of here. They're never going to be perfect. Ideally, they'll be about evenly spaced. There we go. And then another one. I'll do another one. Uh, this side, this of the bridge here. Okay, and what distance do I want? I want about this distance here. Who's complaining? Passing the stoppers exit signals at the platform are best practice. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I will do that, actually. I'll come back to them. Remind me to do it. Don't let me not do it, everyone in the chat. Uh, there we go. And another one, let's do another one here. There we go, what's that? It's quite a big one. There we go, and what's that? It's an even bigger one. Yeah, lovely. And then another one. Let's do one either side of the bridge. Oh, let's not do one there because it's a bit close to the station. So let's do one. Let's do one here and then let's space the other one. Out. Yeah, let's let's delete that one, and also let's delete this one, and then let's do one in the middle of these two. Uh, about there, yeah. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, marvelous. There's my, my block. Uh, let's do another one uh, here. What's my complaint about? Oh, that's what it is. It's because I've not finished. I need to reconnect. Oh, no, that is connected up. Oh, we'll come back to whatever that complaint is. Oh, I know what it is. I know what the complaint is. We'll come back to it and sort it out shortly. Uh, let's do another super block here. Boom. Boom. And another one. What's that? Another one here. Boom. Boom. What's that? Another one here. go and another one sort of here how's that it's quite long and another one there and there oh they just keep getting longer and longer don't they uh yeah okay and another one sort of here So now the issue, I think, will be that there isn't a spot for the express service. Yeah, okay. Now why? 
if I swap, so now if I do this, just switch, switch this to terminal three. Has that fixed the problem? Oh, no, it hasn't. What? Could not connect all station. Yeah. Okay. What have I done? Shanklin flyer. Yeah, the Shanklin flyer. We could do that, couldn't we? Um. Oh no, it does need to be four. so Shanklin. It does need to be four. Uh, and the stopper does need to be. Ah, uh, the issue is I need another crossover in the other direction. That's the issue. Uh, or I could. I mean, I could also uh, do that. Do that. Shanklin Central. I could put it into five. that works but I do need to put a crossover in the other direction I'm not gonna do it as a scissors because you know this is a this is a railway that's more advanced than it's than its predecessors so I did it 70 didn't I so let's do it with a 70 as well so that basically anything works now so that's fine but I do want to have a uh, an entry signal here because there we go uh, there we go that's nice just to speed things up a bit um, also, probably worth having a, some here as well because this is. Uh, there we go. And another one here. Just because it's quite a long. And let's do some entries. Let's do some entry signals along here as well. So let's do the same thing. First station was painting, wasn't it? So let's do. The trouble with this is that it's. The thing is, I think stations automatically have release signals. I'll do I'll do some anyway, but I'm pretty sure that they automatically have them. Um but let's do it this way so that there's a prioritization. Um I've not done that as you'll notice I've not done those as one way is because it means that stations can be run into and out of. Uh let's do another one there and another one in another direction. Thoughts everyone? Those exit signals uh, shouldn't be one way at Shanklin. I don't think they are. I think they're. Uh, I think the Shanklin ones aren't one way, are they? Yeah, no, they're not one way. They're uh, they're 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 two way. Painton, Maghull, it's got them. Uh, Rugely, here we are. Rugely, let's shove in our signals here and here. Works better for prioritization. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, let's do another one uh, here because there's a bit of an exit there. Good and let's see whose train is that? Oh yeah, that is. Oh no, what is it? Oh, I don't know what it is. It's a freight train. Oh, it's the Jams train. That's right. Jam, Jam for Britain. Uh, no choice on this one because it's a little com compact one. Maybe eventually it'll be bypassed altogether. Um, and then we we arrive at at, at uh, Berry. There we go. Okay. What are your thoughts, everyone? Uh, they aren't. Uh, they aren't. They aren't one I think they are. Uh, shouldn't be one way at Shanklin. Uh, they aren't. Okay, good. Hauling many innovative jams. Yeah, indeed. It's all the jams. Um, actually, maybe we should rename the company to that. Where, where is it? Where are they? Where is our jam company? Gone. I can't remember where I put them. Uh, oh, they're here, I think. Yeah, Michael Jams and Jellies Limited. I think when we reach the, um, when we reach the 2000s, this will be renamed Innovative Jams Corp or something. <laughs> you know, it's Right, now tell me anything I've forgotten, because thus far I think I think we're there. We've got a new, pretty advanced, pretty fast bit of railway now. Um, there it is. Running through into, into Shanklin. Ah, what we need is to set up a little tram system in Maghull, isn't it? Because Maghull's a bit... Well, how well connected is it, actually? This is the... So, what we can do is, if you're not familiar with the game, you can click the station and see how much of, of the world... Um, its services and actually it's not too bad there it's pretty well served actually it's not a bad spot um yeah that isn't bad what do you think should we go for a tram system I, i'm i'm for now what do you think maybe we don't go for trams but maybe we should build a little uh what's this a road depot good uh let's do -do -do. What are you thinking, people? I'm going to shove in a little... I'm going to just have a little stagecoach running around in a loop. Uh, let's see. Bus tram stop. So let's... What should we do? Just do a loop. Yeah, I think so. 
loop, uh, loop, a loop, and then a, and then a loop, and then another loop, and then a, a loop, and then a loop, and then another loop. Uh, let's do one there, and then another one. Ah, oh, no, just do one there. Another loop. Uh, and a new line. I'm just gonna do probably. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what are we going to call this? Mag, hull, uh, carriage. Uh, Mag, hull, carriage. carriage company. Let's make it red. For, you know, why? Why not? Uh, and let's assign some. Uh, let's just assign. Let's, what are we going to do? Buy uh, stagecoach. Yes, let's do that. Let's buy four of them. Four of them. Uh, let's paint them all red. And let's assign them to the Mako Carriage Company. There you are. So they're going to run around. Always say yes to trams. Yeah, that's true. Uh, didn't put extra signals on the middle roads of Shanklin. Ah, yeah, good point. Very good point. That's why, that's why I do this with you lot on the feed, because you know what you're doing. Because uh, we're going to have our expresses. I need to actually check which platform this is coming on. Uh, we kind of want our expresses to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do just that. So we've got... Uh, yep, lovely there. And let's do the same on this side, I think. It's nice to see that I'm snarling up there. Good. And likewise, this road here needs to be... Uh, there we go. There we go, so that's our main. So let's now check where things are going here. Terminals. So this is the this is the express and this is the stopper. Obviously the it's going to precisely where we don't want it to go. Uh, let's go into four. Oh, it is going into four. Why is this a stopper? Huh. Wait a minute, let me I'm confusing myself now. GCR is going to go into uh, terminal four. Stopper is going to go into terminal. Uh, let's make it go into terminal five, so it's got quick access. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Happy with that. Lovely job. <laughs> Thought everyone. Oh, okay. For Shanklin, that's fine. Middle Road should not have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit Shanklin. It's a bit of a funny, funny situation. Well, let's just have a quick look at what we've got for because these stations have um, to make sure they've got the right um, so they can, people can get from one side of the platform to the other because at the moment they're a bit yeah. So for example, this one I think I kind of want to add um, uh, yeah. So they've got yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Also, how long are these? Let's add those there. There, there, there. And I'm going to demolish them from... Ugh. To demolish the roof as well, to get rid of it. There's no point having the stairs there above the... There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okie dokie. Uh, that, that, that'll do. There we are. Uh, how long are those platforms, by the way? That's, what's that? Uh, 40, 80, 120. Okay, so that mean the others are 140, isn't it? So that's done. Uh, this place has no... I don't think it has any uh, ability for people to cross from one side to the other. Yep, so that obviously needs to be added. Uh, let's do it here and here. And maybe we'll we'll add some... Add a, add a canopy. Add a little sort of central station canopy. There we go. Lovely, that's nice. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, oh, yeah. This is a bit of a weird one. So... We've got uh, canopy, canopy. Let's, for now, let's wipe out. Oh, we can't do that on that side. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's leave it as just uncovered. That'll do. And we've got a connection in the middle. I'm quite happy with that. That's fine. Uh, what about mag hull? Mag hull, we entirely custom built, so it won't have any connections. So let's do. Mag hull. Let's just go in here. Yeah, I like the Haverhill Station. That village is quite nice. It's quite a nice little spot. I, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, it's good. So let's go one to one over to there to there, and let's have another one from there to there. I think that works quite nicely. Let's just do a K 
canopy there to there. This is actually quite a big station. Let's just do the whole lot. There we are. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Or should I... Yeah, do I want that or do I want the seat? What's that? It's a connection on that side to that side and a connection on that side to that side. Yeah, no, we're just going to cover the whole lot. It's fine. It's a big... It's kind of... A, it's definitely the, the, the inter main intermediate... Kind of... Main intermediate station on that line, isn't it? Painton. What have we got a Painton? Painton is quite a modest little spot. We've got... Uh, yeah, we've actually already got a crossing between the two there, so that's fine. Um, yeah, that's... That's fine. Shelter in the middle. Happy with that. Let's head over to Shanklin and see what the deal is over here. No shelters whatsoever. God... Oh, let's let's build ourselves a little shelter for everyone coming in here. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Um, should we do the whole lot? We could do the whole lot, couldn't we? Uh, yeah, why not? There we go. It is a shame you can't build like a, a, a total station shed. You know, it's a shame you can't build a nice grand shed for the shed roof, uh, a la King's Cross or St. Pete. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, Sim City music's doing its thing in the background there, so that's good, isn't it? That's the, that's it. That's um, that's great. That's the, the Great Central Railway kind of built and doing its thing. Um, now, what else? Shall I show you? So let's. If I now, so what time is it? September the eighteenth, eighteen fifty-eight. Oh, what's that? That's an hour and a quarter we've been building for, right? Uh, but Squicklehausen's back. Hello. Yeah, we've we've done it. We've we've built um we've we've built our little line. Yeah, I love. I absolutely love this. I don't know why. I just think it's brilliant. It's such a nice little quaint. It's like the the best of the procedural generation of the terrain has given us this nice little, uh, horribly constrained and therefore satisfying for the future um bit of railway. I'm looking forward to. Well, the the, the fun stuff happens when you when you've got the railway and you have to modify it. That's when this game gets fun. Um. Okay. Shall we unpause and have a look at what's going on? And um, we'll we'll run it, we'll run it for as long as let let's do just that. We're running. There's a load of trains going to start appearing from here. Here they come. There they are. Very nice. Uh, God, they got the scale completely wrong on this local, didn't they? It's just it's just it's just too small. Anyway, make all the mistakes you want to at the start. Uh, yes, here we go. Trains, trains are happening. Can everyone hear the chuff chuff? Uh, there we go. Yeah, you kind of there. Anyway, that's that's going that way. Marvelous. There's some trains crossing in all the. Oh, I've got to get my head around the fact that the trains are on the wrong side of the tracks. But anyway, never mind. Um, there we go. That's the. What is this? This is the stopping passenger. So that's going to do. Oh yeah, that's right. Because the express is going to be quite a bit far further behind. That's fine. Anyway, while they do their thing, we'll go and have a look at those running. Let's go and have a look at um, some other places for now. So. There's quite a lot been going on. What time? Is it? October. Yeah. Okay. So we've got this quarry down here that's doing its thing pretty substantially. Is that upgraded? Oh yeah, it has already. I thought it might. It's, uh, steelworks won't be far behind, I'd imagine. What? Uh, it's making a lot of steel, but it's not taking it anywhere. This is okay. Cool. Right. So over here is Bradshaw, which is probably going to end up being our main city. I don't know if I'd shown any of you this. Have I shown you any of this? This is the Metropolitan Station. It's quite rudimentary. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Let's let's configure it and give it uh, give it the appropriate. Uh, let's do that and that and that and that and that, and maybe give it a roof. Yeah, come on. Um, so this is this is a little, little metropolitan. I mean, I say little. This is kind of the main metropolitan. But I've tried to give it each. Basically, one of the things I've tried to do is all these little made-up kind of companies that I've got running the company. I've tried to give their different stations a different style, a different design, a different sort of. Um, a different operational uh, approach as well. So, so this this railway is sort of a much more high intensity. I've got much shorter um, sort of uh, signal blocks, if you like. And already we've got. Oh, this one's sat waiting for the next one to go out. But as you can see, we've got uh, these little sort of tootly suburban trains that are running back and forth. Um, and the point of them is that they they they're kind of a. So this is quite an intense. This bit through the centre of the city is quite intensively used. But they sort of fan out, so you've got um, 
do I need to worry about timetables in this game, or do they just naturally evenly space out as best they can? Ask the general move. I have no idea. I think they do generally sort of end up spacing out a bit, but they are, but it's it's not perfect. It's certainly you, you, they don't hold, they don't sit and wait until it's there a lot of time to go. This is already getting busy. Look at all these social, safely socially distanced Victorians. Um, very nice. Uh, anyway, yeah. So you see, so we've got a nice little station here. Uh, yeah, and likewise, I think this, this, uh, yeah, so we've got a slightly busier suburban station here. It's already getting busy, but this, this two, these, these are actually connected by a tram system as well. So I've got a feeling this, hopefully, this is going to expand to the point where they, they almost connect up and you've got like two, two suburbs of a larger urban area. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. They space out automatically within their own routes, at, uh, says Jim the Chair. Thanks, Jim the Chair. Very nice, uh, bit of info for us. So that's going on down here. So we've got this sort of suburban railway network going on. Uh, what's going on down here? Yeah, so here's, 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 here's Liverpool. It's obviously a su suburb of Bradshaw. And then it comes out and the, the line terminates down here at Ellsmore. Ellsmore? Ellesmere. What else have I done? Uh, well, up here... Oh, yeah, sorry. There's another main line. So there's another big station here um, that's been built. It's called Bradshaw Victoria Road. And it's been built by the Bradshaw and uh, Kingston company well it hasn't i just made that up it's been built by me on a computer because this is a computer game however um yeah there's a little uh, sort of uh, there's quite a nice long express passenger basically it's going to run in big sh uh, shuttle eventually i'm imagining this will get gobbled up by whoever comes in here from the north and buys up this railway company um to, to kind of run their trains but there's al already a little branch line that runs off to to bodmin uh down here there are nice little single track um branch line that, that connects up and that that runs into bradshaw um yeah so there's there's already bradshaw's got two railway stations what else is going on yeah liverpool the well-known suburb of manchester jen don't say that we get cancelled by the liverpudlians who are lovely people actually Not a lot of time for liverpool um i haven't been very much whenever i go i just feel like i'm in a it feels it feels like I've stepped back in time, not because Liverpudlians are backwards, but because the architecture is so fantastically sort of, uh, you know, turn of the the the, the, the 19th and 20th centuries uh, New York. That's that's really the vibe you get when you're in Liverpool. It's very cool. It's why it gets used as a film set for that all the time. Right, where else are we going? We're going to go up here to... Um, uh, so there's a little sort of... Another brick railway that runs along here. And there's a little passenger line that runs. Uh, this isn't it. Obviously, that's just, a, you know, train 31 carrying nothing. Um, but there is, so this is uh, Lowestoft Harbour, it's kind of quite a busy little harbour going on, uh, it carries kind of, um, if I click this button, yeah you can see there's quite a lot of things going on here, uh, and there's a little passenger railway that runs through, um, Lowestoft Station here, looking very nice, uh, so if I whiz over here, you can see the railway kind of cuts through, there's a nice, I, you know, this is where it gets fun, bit of constrained stuff, uh, the railway climbing up, I mean you wouldn't, the railway climbs up pretty dramatically there, never mind. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, actually, Merseyrail Rail are by far, in terms of suburban railways, they are by far the best, simply because they've actually bothered to have designed trains that can f that passengers can actually access safely, as opposed to all the others. There we go. So there's this little sort of Dorchester Junction. It's got a little terminal platform as well, Dorchester Junction Station. Uh, and that's because there's a bit of a junction. There's a, a little bit that runs up here. Oh, what's this? Yeah, a little passenger line. That's nice. Can you hear the chuff-chuff? Oh, very nice. Um, and uh, so let's go in that direction. I'll turn this up a little bit. I can hardly hear the chuff chuff. That's a shame. I'm missing out. So there's yeah, this little station here, Hexham, and that runs then to the to, to this junction, which connects up down here with uh, the station Chesterfield. Oh, it's getting busy. Look, all these people, uh, and then down to down to Rally down here. That's nice. Into a little terminal station. So um, yeah, so there are a few little railway networks building up. God, it's 1859 already. Let's go and see how our central railway is doing. Um, oh, and there's, there's there's sort of branch line railways appearing all over the place as well. So so the, the, there's several uh, engorging railway networks. They're going to start kind of getting busy with each other. Uh, railway companies going to start gobbling each other up and, and building their own little empires. Um, yeah, here we are. We can see. Oh, yeah, I, re I remodeled Southport um, Station through it to be a bit more of its era, i.e., Horrendous numbers of switches, it sort of slips, sorry. So we've got some double slips here. Horrible. Um, and, uh, and and essentially, stations were designed that every track could access every platform. Kind of Newcastle South Junction, uh, sorry, Newcastle East Junction style. Um, anyway, so that slightly remodeled that. Um, and what's this train coming through? It's the, it's the Flitic Flyer, there we are. It's, uh, it's pretty busy, actually. It's, uh, it's not bad. 
What else have we got? Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Oh, yeah, the, the little branch line up to Orpington, so that should have a should have a passenger passenger train in it. Yeah, there we are. Nice little uh, little local passenger service there. We haven't had any new. Um... Yeah, you can make double slips. That's it. UK trains generally they are, but um, because the signal the the, the, the in-game signals are all designed for the opposite hand of traffic. They don't when you when you flip. To, to run on the other side, you can, but all the signals face the wrong way. So, um, so I've decided to, to to say, even though this is a, a kind of a we're calling this some sort of imperial tropical space where normally you'd have just in Brit the empire would have enforced which side it, we're going to run trains on. We're going to run trains on the other side here, just for the sake of the signals looking right. So there you are. Don't say I don't do things for you, signaling fraternity. Um, yeah. So. Where are we getting to? There's going to be a mad Russian explosion of, of, of railway lines, I think, fairly soon. What time is it? 1921. Have we got time to do any more extra bits of railway building? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can see we've got lots of bits of railway appearing. Uh, Shanklin, hopefully, is now going to... Let's let's see. Let's pause and have a look at the, the settlement. So, uh, I generally have a look at this to see what... Let's go for size. So Kingston is is oh, Kingston actually, yeah. So Kingston's where I built that station to. It's actually managed to be pretty large. Um, so we're going to need to connect Kingston up to Berry, which is over there. Going to need a railway that connects Kingston, and there already is a freight railway that's been built to do the same thing. So I've got a feeling that we'll just nab that, uh, use that as a passenger railway to connect up to, and that's this is where actually where the railway crosses, um, or the Great Central crosses it. So we need to sort of build a. A connection and interestingly enough the railway does exist so perhaps it's time to, to make that connection already even if we then enhance it in the future it does mean that we ignore Ashbourne um, but you know sometimes that happens you know the railway company would ignore a, 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 a local settlement in favor of uh, a kind of a running a decent service let's do just that so let's connect up what we got we need to get our passenger lines across through okay so um, it's going to be a pig this because we've got this this freight line that's going to run through as well and it's just saying that i'm uh yeah that's going to probably ping ping and get unhappy i'm going to do this let's do oh another one okay let's do yeah that's 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 the ping ping i was expecting from me having smashed up a bit of uh railway alignment let's go for mm. Going to remodel this station through. That's going to be my mission for for the for the end of this. There we go. So let's do. Oh, not bad actually. Oh, why is that doing that? Uh, let's just bring that around here. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. So we kind of want that to come around to connect up with that. Lovely. What angle have we got? Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, and then the same again on the other side, except we've already got a switch on that side, so that makes that a little trickier. Fine though, fine. This is the sort of station throat I'm going for. Uh, uh, kind of, this is what they look like—an absolute mess. But I love it because these become an operational nightmare in the future, and you have to remodel them, which means we have to do station remodeling and resignaling and all sorts of good stuff. Let's. Oh no, there's no. That's too inclined for a switch time. So now we need to connect up this side as well. So let's do just that. Um, oh, let's do it from here. Lovely. And another one from the other side. Yeah, grand. Now, that should be enough for it. Yep, double slip. Marvellous. Now, we need a crossover as we come in here. So let's do that. Um, so that's allowing us to get from this track to this side. So we kind of want to go from, yeah, from here to here. Let's get that up to 50 if we can. Oof. Uh, there we go. 50. There we go. F minimum 50. Glorious. That should have fixed that. That should have fixed that. It looks a bit, it's a bit weird and fat, that. I'm a little less happy about that compound curve. It's all right. Uh, because, can I actually slip it across from the other side? Well, I did that from there, didn't I? So, that, oof, golly. Yeah, 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 come on now. 
just 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 want to demolish this bit don't not the whole thing there there, there. come on ah, done it yes might be the case that I can actually do something horrible like this this is me de deliberately designing the most uh, nightmarish looking bit of uh, is that no it's not I mean it's not I mean I'm gonna have to do it this way okay never mind uh, that's fine because actually ultimately the trains can whiz out in that direction anyway so those are the platforms from that side uh, should we get some signals on the go <sighs> um, yeah go on then let's put that there oh actually I didn't want to do that I wanted that to be one way yes there we go let's do that and then no uh Oh, I don't even know what needs to be coming in and out of here, so I'm just going to leave it and let the, let the trains work out themselves. Let's do a new line. Let's connect up. And it's going to be a GCR one. So let's do a new line. I'm going to connect it. We're going to go from Berry first. Uh, there we go. So from Berry through to... Now, let's do a non-stop because it feels like the right thing to do. Let's go non-stop through to Kingston. Yep, there we go. Uh, and that'll give us... So, this needs to be... Yeah. Uh, let's just copy that name. And we're going to call this the GCR Burry to... Kingston Express. And it's going to be light blue. Yeah. And we're going to duplicate... Uh, let's go into the trains. Let's... Um, now, where have these trains got to? What's the chat? Surely one stop where it diverges from the Great Central. Yeah, um, the trouble is, if we did that, we would... The station layout at uh, Rugeley isn't set up for it, so I'm thinking it's going to be a non-stopper. Uh, I mean, we could have a Haverhill, but the trouble is that's served by the stopper. It's going to be non-stop. I, I think non-stop. And eventually, then, we're going to need to build... A, we're going to need to remodel the station at uh, Rugeley. For now, we're going to call this just a kind of a local... It's kind of a, it's an express, but it's using existing railway lines, so it's not ideal. So, probably come come the 1860s, we're going to be, uh, I think we get a load of new rolling stock in the 1860s. Uh, come the 1860s, we're going to be uh, doing some reconstruction, maybe, you know, establishing some additional stations and bits and pieces. In any case, uh, I'm going to duplicate these, and I'll also do this. Uh, yeah, lovely. Thank you. But also move them to the... Kingston Express, there we go. Marvellous. And just name that that, and name that that. Lovely. There we go, so we've got another line there, establishing a connection over to Kingston, thanks to the power of, uh, well, whatever it was I was um, not doing beforehand. There we are, Kingston Station. So that, that'll connect up this quite large uh, city to another one. No way to keep it on GCR traps through Rugeley and have it merge over. Yeah, no, we could do that, couldn't we? Let's have a look at Rugeley. Yeah, we could remodel this station throat, couldn't we? You're right. Maybe that's exactly what we should do. Besquicklehausen. Sense is being spoken. Mm. Another station throat remodeling. So, we need that. Okay, let's keep that one there. Uh, let me have a think about the best way to do this. Uh, yeah, right. First of all, let's just see what the geometry looks like if I do something horrible like this. Just to get an idea of what we're going to end up with. Uh, what's that? 85, 86. The answer being, that's exactly what we're going to end up with, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Which then means, I do need to have a connection, uh, which I think I can manage. There we go. I think that works and then likewise oof am I going to manage it here or oh, not quite it's not quite I can run through though that'll do and uh, have my throat after the challenge is I need to move that crossover a bit that's fine though I can do that um, what was I wanted it to be at 100 ideally didn't I yeah and then uh, and then this was at 70 Ugh, not quite far enough. Let's do that. 70. Oh, there we go. A bit interlaced, so not ideal. That 
is satisfying the requirements of that and that and that, I think. What's this money about? Uh, no path. Oh, come on now. Uh, you do have a path, you loopy. Uh, you just need to... Let me just do this. There are. It's worked itself out. There's my trick. Just reverse it twice, and then it kind of works out that there is a path. So that does that, which means now the um, Barry Tickington Express, we can introduce... Uh, there we go. And then likewise on the way back. Thanks, Big Swicklehausen. This is the gnarly stuff. This is really... This is horrible, yeah. So you've got a horrible... Uh, absolutely horrible um, sort of conflicting move here with the um, with the slow trains crossing in the path of the crossing across the path of the the fast lines. Really, just hideous, hideous stuff. But um, I'm I'm all for it. That's that's my kind of thing. Right. So we've got um, uh, yeah, and, and that geometry works quite nicely. I mean, you could have double slipped that to connect in, but we're not going to do that. We've got we've got a, a nice bit of geometry. That, I'm I'm quite pleased with that. That's um that's a nice messy looking bit of rubbish. Uh, let's just while we're here, let's um just just tidy this up a bit. It's a bit of a station throat, so we need to sort of fill it with ballast. Let's just get some. Uh, but ah, there we go. Uh, let's just there we go. Let's get some nice ballast on the go. Those trees. Uh, in fact, the trees are done for. Sorry, the trees. You're gone. I'll leave a bush or two. Um, marvellous. At some point, I need to go around and, and put ballast underneath all the tracks because you can see one of the things which I quite like as a touch is that if you don't do it, all the six foot, uh, sorry, the uh, yeah, the six foots all have grass in between them. Which, considering this is a brand new railway, is uh, it's outrageous, absolutely outrageous lack of veg management. Uh, shoddy work, shoddy, shoddy work. Uh, but it does mean you can actually create a nice, quite nice aesthetics with some of your stations. Um, there we go. Let's, the veg manager is going to be well behaved. They've, they've done their work. They've got rid of the, they've got rid of the fluff. The, the green fluff is gone. Oh, didn't want to do that. I'm going to do this. It's gone. There we go. Lovely. Quite pleased with that. Time for a grade separated junction. No, because this is the 1860s, and uh, there's no need for it. The traffic doesn't demand it. Uh, we're not going for a go big or go home situation. Uh, we're going for a go horrifying or go home situation in terms of. Uh, uh, in terms of the look of all of these these uh, station throats, which, as I say, I'm all for. What I'm going to do is just tidy these station throats up because they, you, you wouldn't have them all like weirdly piled up in ballast like that. So let's just do this and this and this. Get these looking a bit tidier. Uh, and just do some of this. What time is it? How are we doing? 1933. Ah, oh, it's an hour and a half of stream. Crikey, look at that. Um, let's just get some ballast down here. Yeah, lovely, 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 lovely. Ballast, ballast, ballast. Um, Rouge will be an absolute disaster in a few years, and uh, and you're a hundred percent here for it. Yeah, me too. The, the disaster, the operational disasters, are the ones that I absolutely love. That the, it's the problem solving of horrible traffic that becomes part of the fun of this. Um, and managing, and the thing is also that station is set up in such a way that it'll be an absolute horror show in terms of the com the constraints. Like it's really constrained. So you, you have a real challenge getting a grade separated junction in there. You almost have to like rebuild it with a parkway station. Again, absolutely all for all for that sort of hell. That's the hell I'm here for. Um, now let's just increase this brush size. I'm going a bit. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, a bit much. There we go. Um, yeah. So that that was fun. So what's going to be happening next time? Well, next time I think we're going to start. There'll be more branch lines because we need to basically. By the time we get into the 1860s, we need to have served, I think we need to basically serve every single population centre. So we've, we've been fringing it a bit so far, but now we've got the kind of these well-established, sort of these major well-established railway lines. We've got the, so we've got the, uh, let's get the lines up, shall we? We have, and also let's do that. So we have the... The Great Central Railway, which is the one in blue there, running, uh, so it's now got a connection down to Kingston, but primarily it's running across the whole island over to Shanklin. Uh, so that was the that was the, that's the one we've just finished now. We have the uh, the Great Western, which is uh, the, along the west coast here, to just to screw with people, the purists, uh, which kind of runs. Okay, there's a bit of a branch line actually. They're not connected here because uh, again, I wanted to create something horrible to have to deal with in the future. Um, you've got the, the Flitwick Great Western Station here, uh, and it runs up uh, to, well, kind of comes up through Shanklin, which is the kind of one of our major population centres. 
uh, and runs up to through Ellitsborough and into what's it called Southport. Southport's kind of the Swindon of our um, of our of our em railway empire for the Great Western. So there's quite a lot of stuff that runs in and out of this station, uh, and including kind of you know railway lines that run up towards Blackpool. There's another one that runs uh, up to Stevenage and then through to Orpington. So there's there's a bit of branch line there. And then, so that's the two, those two major railway companies. And then you've got the the, the Metropolitan, which is this one that we've said uh, connecting, uh, connecting kind of Market Harbour and all these sort of disparate uh, settlements into Bradshaw, turning Bradshaw into quite a well connected bit of um, uh, bit of hub. So that should get quite um, this should get quite busy and expand quite quickly, which I'm uh, keen for. Uh, and then we've got a couple of other fringe railways that. There's that nasty habit of the fringe railways will get gobbled up. So this little green one here, I mean, it's clear. If you're the Great Central Railway, our Great Central Railway, it's just coming to Kingston. They're going to be like, well, uh, if we buy them, then they get to, then we can, they can run, they have to run the trains exactly how we tell them to. And um, also we get to muck around with their infrastructure. So you might find that pretty rapidly this, um, this individual company is going to get gobbled up by the GCR. In any case... I think that is that for tonight. I'm, uh, my voice is gone. I have water, but I also have... I've got a huge... Uh, it's a pile of gibbonita downstairs to eat and some chicken stew. So um, it's time for me to do some of that. Uh, it's been fun. Clear Skies, which is one of my... Uh, Clear Skyscrapers, which is like my favourite tune out of the SimCity playlist, uh, is playing in the background. Um, it's... Uh, yeah, this is... So this is... No new kettles. Currently, the only rolling stock we have is still all the all the initial stuff. So I think... I think when this pings over to 1860, we'll see... Um, there'll be a... Shall we say a big rush of, of new rolling stock. And all the express trains will suddenly want their, tra their their services to be run by the new fast trains. And then there'll be a... Maybe a... A dropping of... Um, yeah, cheers. Cheers, Nodrog. Oh, nice to see you. Oh, crikey. All the, all, the, all the big players are in tonight. Um, anyway, right. Um, I will see you, all of you what next time whenever that is maybe friday probably monday cheerio oh yeah this is the bit where i now go uh, across the obs it's a very professional this thing <laughs> cheerio